this module, we're going to be examining um, the limits of the idea of renewing the relationship, this transforming kind of older treaty relationships into contemporary, um, into a contemporary context. For the most part, this idea of renewal um, has really been about, as we've seen, inscribing um, a new type of colonialism onto the relationship. And the readings we're covering this week are going to explore how seemingly transformative proposals are actually influenced by the status quo. And so something that sounds new and dramatic is very often um, very much a part of, of this kind of colonial present that we're living in. We're also going to be looking at alternatives to this, how we can pursue real reconciliation as opposed to a kind of reconciliation that reinforces Canadian sovereignty. Uh, the language used around this is very often um, reconciling Indigenous peoples to Canadian sovereignty. Uh, we're going to be pr looking at the opposite of that, which is reconciling the, um, the existence of a self-governing Canadian state with the existing sovereignty of Indigenous peoples. So we're going to be inverting that relationship of reconciliation to look at how um, Indigenous peoples um, are not the ones that need to be reconciled, but rather this more recent Canadian government that needs to reconcile itself with the ongoing existence of Indigenous peoples.